Good afternoon. Welcome to another fun edition of Tuesday with Todd. I'm your host, Todd, where tonight we are talking how to make mock-ups in Canva. And we're going to bring Sarah in from Distinctive Merch Co. And she's going to talk to us about how she designs, creates, how she creates these mock-ups in Canva. So that should be, to me, I find it super fascinating because I'm not a super big Canva user. And every day I find out that there's more and more power beyond it. Uh, one little bonus to it is something that she's going to do is making mock-ups on hoodies. I'm going to show you how to remove the strings from the hoodies in Corel Draw because that's my go-to program. So that way you'll, you'll have that. Uh, make sure to get your questions in because, you know, hey, I, I don't know everything. So if you have a question to ask, make sure to do that. Uh, as we get into this, make sure that you are liking and subscribing, sharing, all of that. Shanger's caring. It helps keep the lights and mics on, so we please appreciate doing that. If you're watching on the replay, make sure Team Replay. And we want to know who you are, so make sure to let us know who you are, where you're from, what's in your cup, and what the weather is like in your area. Where is here is rainy. It's rainy, 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 which means it's icy, icy, icy later. So that is no bueno. We will check in. We'll talk about what we have going on right before we bring Sarah in. So let's see who we got here. Greetings, Renee, 35 from Chicagoland. I'll be listening and have to watch on team replay. Love it. As I'm still trying to reinstall my phone. I don't even know what that means. You just update it. Hit the button. What? I, don't, I don't know. It's a crank phone. What is that? T Town, how's it going? Good evening. Tim's got 36 over there in Toledo making tumblers. Uh, we'll try and to JP, P, JP plus template. Not a fan, but hope everyone's day is good. What kind of issue are you having with the template? Let me know. Maybe I can help. Uh, I did get, uh, I have completed my goals for this month on the laser. I said by the end of the month, I wanted to have every feature tested out. Today, we got the rotary tested out or installed, put together, and we were able to get some stuff tested. Now, I learned some things with it. I learned I do not like the JDS 40-ounce um, ones because of the handle, because it's not removable. So what I found was I had an issue with it right there. You can see it where it was hitting. So I need to raise that up if I want to be able to do more there. But we got it. Uh, I can change some settings. But for the first attempt, I am super happy with how that came out on the X-Tool S1, which you can find our affiliate link in the attached description all of our links fatdadcd.com and barb north central minnesota 28 and overcast hot herbal tea in the cup or herbal 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 which team are you herb herb uh and hi renee tim and todd and angela picking up the grandson so watching on the go very nice facebook user fu facebook and streamer don't always play nice when that happens you become a few but if you go to fatdadlive.com that gets you into the youtube side of things where then we will be able to see who you are is canva worth the pro absolutely uh it will talk one of the reasons that i feel it's definitely worth the pro is the ability for the downloads. Like if you want to download a PNG with a transparent background, you need the Pro. Uh, we can show you some of the, I believe we can show some of the options once Sarah gets in there because you'll be able to see the crown. The crown, if you, you need the paid version, be able to use the crown on that. Diana, hello to you. What's up, Chuck? Good evening to you. Ready for some amazing training? Hey, me too, because we know that I do not know enough about Canva. So if we can learn some more, I'm all aboard for that. Kim, hello to you. Alania, hello. Um, Kim's checking in, uh, all ice there in Chicago, driving to get my hubby from the hospital and watching you. Well, be careful. If it's all ice and you're watching me, that's, that's be, be careful. Uh, water in the cup, 48, working on dinner, uh, working on dinner. Hey, I, I like that. I'm not sure what we're doing for dinner. Uh, hey, from Boston, maybe a few. That is true. You are a few. Awesome. George, what's going on? Um, I have to have new port installed yesterday and now I can't get my email on my phone. What? What kind of weird thing you got going on over there? Rainy in Texas. Hey, Chuck and Diana from Barb. Rena, hello. Todd and Renee. And uh, there's a Photoshop template, but not in layers. So to me, uh, they are no-go unless importing them the wrong way. EPS works in Illustrator, but still not big on layers. Each letter is in a layer. So with mine, um, I know when I imported it, and it was that same way where it was all there, I just used that as a template, made my own, and then went from there. Because I know some of them are a little wonky, where it has like the three boxes on it. I just brought it in, looked at it, and made my own from there. So maybe that will help. You're not slow. You're just, uh, you're overthinking it. 
uh, Kim, more like listening to you. Ooh, some Italian beef in the crock pot at home. That sounds phenomenal. So I'm going to ask Sarah a question so I because I can see her in the green room. So she's either going to shake her head no or she's going to shake her head yes. And then I'll be able to know what the next one. Sarah, do you want me to bring you on here while I do the Corel part of this? Or do you want to stay there in the background with your big smiles on and do that? Uh, I, You know what? I, what I, folks, listen. I gave two options, right? I said I need this or I need this. And you know what I got? And this. So... You know, I'm going to bring her in just because she's going to do that. And then we'll introduce her. She'll tell us about us. She'll tell us about her company since she didn't do that last time. She got flack about it. And we will be able to uh, to move on and we'll bring her in. So without further ado, let's bring in Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello. <laughs> How are Thanks you? for bringing me in. <laughs> you are very welcome. Now, Sarah, let's get this out of the way. Who you are, where are you from, what do you do? Okay. I am Sarah Risser. I own Distinctive Merch Co. We're in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Um, we are, I'm an apparel decorator. And at Distinctive Merch Co., we decorate apparel. <laughs> we do custom graphic apparel. And then uh, we specialize in online pop-up shops, is what I like to call them. Team stores, what a lot of other people call them. Yeah. And Sarah, how long have you been doing this now? We uh seven eight almost eight years. See, so Sarah, Sarah's a spring chicken. Although, like, <laughs> what I I've come to the realization that if you're in the apparel decoration, it is really like dog years. Every year is like seven years because it feels like forever. It definitely feels like forever doing this, yeah. doesn't it? Or is that just me? Yeah. yeah. It does feel like forever. Yeah. All right. Now, Sarah, you use Corel, right? You a Corel kid? Mm -hmm. I'm not a. AI kid, and that's a, and this is how I realized I started getting old because I told somebody I was not an AI kid, and they're like, "Man, everybody's using AI," and I'm like, "Man, no, a lot of my friends use Corel," and they looked at they, you know, I could tell they looked uh -huh. at me because we're there, and they're like, uh, "They're like, what are you talking about?" I'm like, "Corel draw design." They're like, "You know, AI, artificial intelligence." I'm like, "Oh, I thought you meant Adobe Illustrator." So, yeah, now now I have to figure out all that. So good times, good times were had by all in there. Now, I'm going to bring up um, Corel, and we're going to show something that I see a common occurrence of a lot when I see other people's stuff. And it just it just, it just hurts my soul because of how easy it is to do and to not do it. I want people to learn how to do it. So I'm going to bring that on here, go to the stage. And I think if we go this way with us, it brings it here. So here's my issue, and this, is, this be it. You know, seeing this on on shirts, on mock-ups, just bothers me a lot. Uh, how does it, how do you feel about it, Sarah? I mean, it's fine, it's but fine. it could be so elevated. I'm going to put you back in there. I'm going to put you back in the green room. It's fine. Because it's fine. You see it all the time. People right. get it, but it just looks so much better the other this way. This looks so much better. 100%. This looks so much better. It looks more realistic. You know, this just looks better. So this is how I do it. And I know... I know there's a ton of different ways to do it. Uh, if this is not the way you do it, Sarah, let me know and we can walk, you can walk me through it, but I'm pretty sure because the same basic steps all get there. And when I come to, to do it, then you'll be able to, we'll be able to talk about the different ways to do it. So first off, I'll move this logo out of here. Now, what I do is I come over here and remember not everybody's stuff is set up the same way. Let's kick that all closed. Not everybody's, you know, tops and bottoms and everything look the same because you know, hey, it's how you have your workspace set up. So for me and my workspace, and hey, yes, kids, I am still using X7. Why? Because I don't want to pay for a subscription. I don't need to yet. So why am I going to do that? So if you're team X7 or below, you're my people. Um, if you're new one, that's fine. You know, I know I'm going to have to eventually, but not right now. But if you come down here to the, uh, the shape tool and what you want, you know, if you have your free hand, whatever, you want your B-spline tool. So your B-spline tool is what you're going to select. Now, zoom in, and it's going to be this simple, and I'm going to try and make this not super complicated. You're just going to click and drag and click. And for those that don't know, if you hold down your mouse button and then move your mouse, it'll move your image. So you'll just click, and you're just going to follow this outline, right? And we're just going to make this you know, down and dirty, not too difficult. Now, one thing to pay attention is when you do get down here to the... What are they? The, the eaglets? Is that what that's called? That sounds familiar. 
Sarah, what are those called? I thought those it was Piglet? I don't know. But, There's a uh, name for them, and I don't know what the name is. Somebody will tell us in the comments what the name is at the end of the string. And I want to say it's like Eaglets or something like that. I, Eaglets I mean, is I, a baby eagle. <laughs> well, maybe those are. So you'll come up here. Now, one thing to remember is when you are connecting back to uh, a beast line, it's going to round it. So if I did it like here, it's going to just make it wherever it's at. So I usually come back above it. Collect it up there, and then it makes the the layer for it. Eaglets, right? Eyelets, eaglets. See how do you how do I say this? This button right here. I was on the wrong one. How do I say this? Eaglets, right? See, I knew it was something like that. So now I come over to the next one. We're gonna do the same process for this one. Super simple, you know. Like this is, and this is why it it just boggles my mind because once you do this, you can you're done. You don't have to do it again. Where I will show you what upsets me and it doesn't upset me so much things like this where, you know, you're like, okay, what is it? Where am I at? I want to make sure I get it. Just zoom out a little and you'll see it. You'll do that rounded edge here. You'll come back up, work your way around this. You know, we went down one side, we came up the other. We're just following the outline of this. So nothing crazy difficult. All you can get, you know, as close or as far away as you want. I try and stay right on the edge of that line to make it work. I come back up here. That one didn't connect, so now I got to connect those. Okay, so now I got the two. So now I'm going to come over back over here from my pick tool. I'm going to grab this one and this one, and then I'm going to come up to the top here. Like I said, it could be wherever it is on your screen, and I'm going to weld it. I'm going to weld it, so now we have an image. So if I move those there, that's what it is. Control-Z takes us back one step. So now I have this that we just made selected. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click on the image. So if I zoom out, you can see that it's all selected. And I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna hit this tool right here, the intersect tool. It's gonna create an object from the area where the two or more objects overlap. So what is that gonna do? Well, we're gonna hit the button you're gonna see. So boom, it just did it. Did you see it? Yeah, you don't see nothing. You know, that, that's just how it works. But if we grab this, there's the outline of the stuff that we made. But, so if we delete that, now just the laces there. I slide those over. Guess what? Now we just have the laces. So we come back, control Z, put them there. I bring our logo over. Ta-da! It's done. Nope. Here's all you gotta do. You just select this, and then you can hit control, home, and it brings it forward. And now, magically, what do we have? We have a shirt that looks swell. Like, looks so much better. Now... One thing to pay attention to is where your mock-ups are coming from. A lot of times you get lucky and your mock-ups look the same across every color. And when that happens and it's a hoodie like this, it's magical because it just makes this process so much more fun. Um, Jerry said hit control what? Control which part of it? Control, two, what did I miss? Control Z? Control Z takes you back one step. I think that's all. I think that was the control. Everybody, you know, if, 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 Jerry, if I need to be more definitive in my answer, tell me the step I said before and I can fix it for you. So now you have it like this. But now here's, like I said, where the real magic happens. If we go into this and I will take all of my images in here that, that I'm going to need. So you can go into Sandmar, grab all your hoodies, stack them up on top of each other. When you bring them in, import them in, you just, you know, import it in. It's that simple. You know, you, you just bring them in. But once I have this done, I can delete that out and oh look there is there's my there's my strings but what's the problem my strings don't match right so yeah my strings are there and they don't match but what you can do is you can come over here and select your strings and if you come up here and you hit this create boundary button it creates a boundary around it and then you just held down the shift key select the hoodie and hit the where is it at there again you hit the intersect button and magically, you click off to get off the selection, click back on those strings that we took. There's the first outline that was done. Oh, you know what? I don't, I forgot. I don't do this anymore. I don't do this anymore. I'll show you anyway. We deleted out the gray strings. And now if we click on our maroon strings, they're right there. So we can hit control H, control H or control home, control home, control home. That's what it is. Control home, ET, control home brings it forward. So control home brings it forward and puts it on top of it. The reason I switched up from doing that is you don't need to hit that boundary. 
So what I found is, so let's go to the next one. If we go here and we get rid of that one, now we're on a gray sweatshirt. If I come down and I hit the strings, I can just select the strings. I can select the shirt and I can come up and hit intersect and it'll do it for me. So now if I delete out the maroon strings, those are gone. I can click on the gray strings, control home, brings them home, and there's that. So what you can do is you can go in and you can make all of your mock-ups this way. You can have just like this. This is the PC78H uh, from Sanmar. Bring them all in, do it, and you can have them all ready to go. So if you have a team store that needs this, you can bring these two images in, and you're just as easy to put any image behind here. Now, you can still, depending on your image, it's editable. So, you know, you can put everything behind here, and it stays the same. It doesn't move. You can do whatever you want with it. Now, I do know some people that instead of doing the intersect, they will do the power clip. So I guess we can show that. My issue with the power clip is that you need two sets of it. So if we get rid of this one and now we're on the green one, right? And I have the, the power clip, which I'm gonna go ahead and, and do something real quick to hold that there. I can come in here and I can right click on the image and I can go power clip and I can power clip inside there. Oh wait, no, no, I can't because this is where I need the boundary for it. This is where I need the boundary for it at. So if I come here and I do the boundary, create the boundary, then come back, right click on the image, power clip, select the ones we just did and what it does and it puts it all in there. But you see that we would need two of those images because the shirt is gone. So you'd have to have two images. So we can bring in a new one, which all I did was just I controlled C to copy it and control V to paste it, but now it's on the top. So if you hit control, page down, page down, page down, there, it brings it all back and puts it there. So that's how I used to do it was with the um, with the power clip, but then I found the intersect works so much more seam seamlessly and way, way faster to do. So. I think that was a pretty good, quick, down and dirty rundown for it before we move on to Sarah. Uh, because the reason that we showed you this is now Sarah has done this. And Sarah, correct me if I'm wrong. Sarah has done this where she's taken these and then she pulled off the um, the things, these things, the things the yes. and saved these as a PNG with a transparent background and then imported those into Canva. So now she can use those in there that way with it. Is that correct in assuming that? That is that? correct. All right. So there's part one. And the reason we did it that way is because that's what Sarah's going to show us. So instead of somebody saying, hey, how did you get the strings? You now know how to get the strings. So without further ado, I'm going to pull my screen off there. And Sarah, are you ready? Are you ready? Because now ready. it's my time just to sit and look pretty. And All ask right. Okay, <laughs> there, take it away from us. Tell us what you're going to do and let's go. All right, so creating a mock up, um, you're going to start with um, obviously your, your new documents. You're going to hit your create design. I usually go with Instagram post, it's square, it's easy, it doesn't really matter what size unless you needed a specific size, but then you can always resize it too. Um, then you're going to pull in whatever garment you're looking for. So I've already uploaded a couple. Uh, the one that I used most recently was this Jersey's M 700 M. I think it is. Nope, we're not seeing that. You're not seeing it. No. Is it, did it open in another window? It, uh -huh. another window. it yep. did. Yeah. Yep. That's yep. All right. So <laughs> it's let's like it share. Another tab. <laughs> share this tab instead. How about that? There so we go. There we go. <laughs> All the fun of technology. So this is the jerseys right here that I was talking about. Okay. So um, this one, I'll just click and add it to my document. Doesn't matter if you want the background there or not. If you want the person or not, we can change pretty much all of that. Um, so walk us through what you're doing just right there. You're just you're able yeah. to resize it by grabbing corners and pull just yep. like a traditional thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Just like any other image, you can move it around. It usually gives you these right away. I've noticed that this will crop it, which I don't care for, but so you can't really you can do this way. <laughs> The other way, it just crops the image. So I am just going to make it big enough, just because I I like it that way. I like to make it fit really well in the in the square. Okay. All right. So then I like to remove the background because I like to brand things. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to hit this edit photo up here. 
Now, yeah. before you get too far, if you look and see, you can see that that has there. We we're, were talking earlier with the crowns. Oh yeah. Things, the things with the crowns, that's what you need to have. You need the pro version for. Um, so to be able to do things, um, then, you know, if, it, if there's a crown on it, you need the pro version to be able to do those things. I don't know if there's a difference between the white and gray crown versus the gold crown. Um, I don't remember. I'm not a Canva kid, you know. Uh, I can I can Google it while you're doing it and see. It I just time. went ahead and signed up for the whole shebang and said, "Let's do it." And yeah, really I think, think it's only about like 14, 15 bucks a month, somewhere right around there. And yeah, it's, it's really like, inexpensive for what it does. It is right. a very robust tool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to remove the background, which has a crown, but it is a gray and white crown, so I'm not sure if that's a different thing. If I just click this, it's going to do it for me. So mm -hmm. super simple. It's gone. It's just her. Yep. Hey, so, so we get we got before you get too much farther, we got some questions in here. Okay. Um, Jerry says, uh, "So how do you know it's a jersey hoodie? Do you see that style?" And oh. then somebody else asked, uh, "So did you pull the image from the vendor off the web from the shirt template?" So that's what I'm assuming is that you just downloaded yeah. them from um, from wherever on it. Yep, SNS. Just, uh, they have them there for us to use to be able to sell their products. So you are, it's not a copyright thing. You're more than welcome to go ahead and use your account at SNS or Sanmar or whatever supplier you have and save those images and then upload them up to Canva. I've also found if I um, copy it from the supplier website, I can paste it into Canva and it will automatically upload it for me. So it'll be saved for later. Okay. Good. So, yep, just go ahead and grab it from your supplier. And that is how I know what the style is. I pulled it from the <clears throat> 700M um, style. So I, with branding, I like to change the color of the background to match my brand. So I... Okay. So, well, just go back. Go back one second. How did you, how did you do that? We gotta, <laughs> we gotta remember, you're talking to me. Box because your background <laughs> color. So control Z back and let me see. So if you just... I have an arrow for that. I can control Z, see that? Yeah, you can control Z. I so can. you just select the background because right now there's two two layers that are on there. There's the yep. front one that has the mock-up and then the yep. background that's blank behind it, right? Yeah. So we select that background and then we go to this, what is it, the a color box that's up there? What is that, what's that when you click on yeah, that? Yes, so when I select oh. the box, whatever I have selected, it'll show tools that you can use right up here in this bar. Okay, so oh. if we select that and then we go to our the little color box right there, that must be the mm -hmm. box that allows you to right there change background color. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the purple box indicates what you have selected. If you're going to select more than one thing, you can do the shift and select more than one thing. These are they should be both selected okay. or not. Drag. Uh huh. I don't know why it's not selecting. It can. <laughs> Just trust me, it can. Um, background. So I have my background selected. It's got the whole document. Select my background color, and I'm going to change it to my brand kit, which is also a brown item. Yep, which that's where you need the, the pro version. So maybe that's something we can go over. Since I think we're just going to make you a regular appearance on here on Canva. <laughs> Maybe next month we Just can talk. Just keep pushing me, Todd. It's fine. It's right? fine. Well, and these are all things that you know. It's because I know somebody's going to ask brand kit. What is it? How do you use yeah. it? Why do you use it? So maybe next month when we have Sarah on here, if everybody asks nicely, we can talk about brand kits in Canva. I think that's a great thing. Sure. But I need people to ask in the comments that they want Sarah back to talking brand kits. So continue. <laughs> okay. So in my brand kit, I have my colors pre-populated. I like my teal color, so we're going to use the teal color from our brand. So there's okay. our background, now it's teal, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, after that, I'm going to add my design. So we're gonna use this designer, maker, promoter, okay. strategist, marketer. And where did that come from? The left-hand side uploads? Is that where you had it mm -hmm. over there? Yep, okay. just right here where you have all your images that you've, you've used. So I'm gonna size it so it fits appropriately on the sweatshirt. A lot of times they are not straight on, so a little bit of the rotating with this makes it look a little more. Now, do you ever use the the zoom feature? Because, like to me, I I have to like even here, like yeah, I have to like I have to get it there. <laughs> I, like, is it right? Is it there? <laughs> is it not there? I just need to 
to be able to see it better. I don't, it's, sure. it's, it's just me, you know? <laughs> totally fine. I, I do use it on occasion. Um, I just go with whatever's defaulted and it's been fine. Um, but yeah, we can, we can definitely make that bigger and then rotate it. I like to square up the corners with the shoulders, but this one's not going to do that very well because she's kind of on an angle. So whatever, place it however you like it, whatever you think looks appropriate for the size you plan on printing it. And then click off of it. I have my strings already uploaded and I okay, did the same okay. thing that Todd did. Woohoo! So did the, all of that in Corel and you can upload your strings because like right now, this is where, you know, if you look, um, there is a quite a few, I won't, I won't say quite a few around us, but there is a good handful of people around us that, you know, are seven figure businesses that when they put out their mock-ups, this is how it looks just like this. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I, yes, you see it so much that you're just used to it, but to me, you know, it's in the details, you know, and if there's something I can point out to somebody to be like, Hey, you know, we take pride in our work, your logo, your designs, you know, when we send you mock-ups, we want you to see what they're going to look like. And yes, you can get the idea with this, but adding strings, it just makes it look so much better. So, you know, I think that can be a selling point. If you're going to pay attention to this much detail on, you know, on a mock-up when most others don't, then, hey, what am I going to do with your business? So, you know, hey, all right. So as I continue <laughs> to ramble on, we're bringing in strings, right? Bring all right, strings. here we go. There's some strings. They're giant. That, oh, that's going to be my, my next thing. So, <laughs> so they come in at whatever size that they're saved at. So yeah. uh, how do you make this work? Let's see. Okay, so I put them on top, which is great. But you can go to your position and pull them all the way if you hit position up here mm -hmm. and then you you go to this layers you can see what's on top what's down further okay. one layer down and then your background so you can always okay. pull them up by grabbing this if you need to okay it's okay. it populated all the way at the top right away but i just size them down just like i did with um sizing the picture of the the girl so is there a, a, a I, and i don't know and that's what i'm looking around the page to see is there a percentage thing? So like if you bring something in, I guess it wouldn't matter on this because it's not there. So so pretty much what you're doing, you're just zooming in and you're resizing till it matches the ones in the background, right? Is that mm -hmm. what you're doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't know that I have it quite right. There we go. Now we got it. <laughs> and, see, and there me, it is on nope. top. It just looks so much better this way now, and you could still, you know, if you want to take the, the the layer that has the design on it, you can still mess with that and do everything with that, and mm -hmm. it doesn't affect that one at all. So see, right? For, so for me, I I don't know. Um, I would probably do the strings before I did a design, so my OCD doesn't freak out and be like, oh, there's something here and it's in the way, and I can't figure <laughs> it out. I got to pull it off, but. Now, could you save this mock-up as, as this image here and then be able to come back to it and swap out designs and not have to go through this again? Yes, absolutely. You could so, save it with this or, yeah. Like if I just wanted, I let's say went out of here, came back in, this is my saved image, add another page. Get rid of this. Wait, 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 wait. What's this add another page? Where where and how did you make that happen? This little button right here. Duplicate, duplicate page. page. Okay. So on the top there, duplicate. You gotta remember, like there's a lot okay. of people that are like me that when it comes to Canva, they're like, Oh yeah, you just duplicate a page. Way to go. How? How do you do that? I know. I you know, I sat on the couch last night and I tried to show my husband how to create a mock-up, thinking he's never done this before. He's gonna tell me what I'm missing, what I need to make sure that I'm talking about. He fell asleep. <laughs> it didn't help me so yeah i guess i'll have to find another guinea pig for next time but that's me that's me because you know we're going to learn as we go and then people are going to ask questions in there if they have yeah. anything. so yep. so you can just yep. duplicate this and you're ready to go just to add another design so you could go through and if you are, are creating you know using this same shirt for uh, you know, um, you know, four or five different designs then you're able just to do it and, and go from there with it right yep there we go so I obviously put that 
on last, which puts it on top. But if I go to my position again, we're going to close that. We're going to go to position. Then I get my layers. Okay. And then I can move that under the strings. So that automatically puts it in order. Okay. 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 I see you. I see what you did there now. And it just, for Canva getting the bad flack that it's gotten over the years, I see that there's a lot of uses with it. And even in something like this, you know, where I even wonder that, you know, now with some of the things, because if we go to edit the photo, you know, like I said, I don't, we're going to, we're going to play this. You're going to play, you're going to be my guinea pig right now. Okay. We, just select, yeah, we, select her, we select her and then um, we go, so pull your design off, pull the, the uh, strings off. Pull them off completely. Yeah. Just pull them off, pull the, the design off too. I want to see if we select her okay. and we go to edit our photo. Okay. Isn't there a magic erase tool? So we could go to the magic erase tool. Yes. Sure. And we could go in here, change our brush size. And if Bigger we or that, smaller. Probably smaller because we could probably okay. delete everything. We could erase everything but the strings. So you could probably do all this straight in Canva. Probably. It would be a pain, I think. Yep. Uh, I'm not so good at that. That's why you got to zoom in. That's why I said there's the zoom button for a reason. <laughs> Shoot, I let go of my mouse. Here we go. We'll see what happens. Right. And in here, that's nothing happened. It didn't look like anything happened. No. <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> so I wonder. <laughs> I don't know. You know, that's something. That's something I can some... play with that and see what happens. Yeah. Because, you know, that way, if we can, if you could do everything in here, and I bet there's a way to, I bet there is a, a way to. to I was playing around trying to figure out hands and stickers and all that. Like this one here, but it's not quite, not quite where I'd like it to be at. So that that's the way I do it with items that I know and use on a regular basis. Canva has its mock-up creators. Um, it's just a generic shirt. Okay. So it doesn't feel as elevated as it could be. Gotcha. Yeah, I think it. I think it works fine with what it is, you know. And and things like that is where it really, um, it really works. You know, it really comes in. It really. Canva is one of those tools, like I said, that I believe really can elevate your business with quick, easy things. You know, you don't need to be so much um, the designer anymore. You can be more of the arranger, which isn't a bad thing. It's this is what it's built for is those quick hitters, you know, those quick in and out of things, those quick, we're going to build this real quick. We're, we're going to do that. Uh, and there's, you know, there's tons of people that are using Canva, you know, for their full-fledged marketing, everything, you know, their, their design work, they're doing everything inside of Canva. And uh, I'm going to, you know, this is the year where we said we're going to push people to do more and learn more. And I think, you know, Sarah is going to learn a lot more on Canva because she, you know, she just, every time we talk, she's like, oh, I did you know how to do this? I'm like, no, because I don't, I don't use it. So I think it's there. All right. We're good on this. What what else do you have in the what else do you have in the magic bucket for us? Well, you can instead of pulling in from pulling in your garment from your supplier, Canva has a ton of images too. So let's see. I'm gonna create a duplicate page. I'm just gonna delete her and her strings. And her strings. And then you can just search in elements. Okay. There's okay. And one, one of the questions that came in, uh, Angela is asking, because I'm sure you're going to show this, how do you add effects to something? So how are you going to add effects to this? Um, like what kind of effects are we thinking? That was going to be my next question. Angela, let us know. What kind of effects are you seeing and doing? You know, is it something like I, when I see your things open, what there, what's that crazy whoosh thingy majigger right there in a the recently this used? Thing? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's an element. So it would be something that we could, oh my goodness, let's not do that. All right. <laughs> you can put it behind her, right? And then it just That's goes back. I mean, I don't know what it's doing. It's putting it 
Right, and if you put it in the layer behind, right, then it's that. You could, yes. Sparkle crazy behind, right? I, I use this on a St. Patrick's Day thing that I posted today, so it's it's fun that it put it there. All right. See, there we just added something, oh, something fun there. Okay, T Town says, "Is there?" Well, let me, let me back. Uh, is there a way to keep the layers always on the screen? I've noticed that they go away if you click off what you're working on. Hmm. Tom, that's another one for me because I don't know enough about it. So, Sarah, any uh, any ideas on that one? Is there a I way? Don't know. If you, what do you, I don't. I guess I don't know that they go away. Like, what do you? Let's see. Uh, I've noticed just, that they go away if you click off of it. I know what he's saying. So, okay. When I'm here, these layers show up. Mm -hmm. But if I start messing around with things and I need to do other things, edit my photo, see how that went away? Oh, okay. So okay, okay. This pain, so, whatever I'm working on, versus so being able to have a static. Yep. So it's basically there. It's just not um, like you wanted to have it set so it'll always show the layers. Yeah. Kind of like how the, the, the bump outs are in Corel and that, where there's the layers right. and you can go and change to it on that. Gotcha. Right. I, I will Google that and see it while you continue on with our next lesson. Okay. <laughs> All right. Where was I? Here we go. So in my elements that we found over here on the left side, um, I can just search T-shirt. If we can spell it correctly. There we go. I prefer to use the photos. You can use these graphics. They're easier to change colors. Um, but you, you, you'll see. Let's just grab this white T-shirt here. I don't really want it to be a white t-shirt. Um, so that's where we can edit our photo. So this top button up here is gonna let us edit our photo. And I have found, you can just look at filters, which will change it minimally. See how it's got a couple pre-populated ones. Mm -hmm. Do, I think it's the duo is what it was called, which is not showing here. So you'll have to click your arrow to get over okay. to the duo chart. So pretty much on places like that, if there's an arrow to left or right, then there is more selections for you to for you. Oh to yeah. Make. Okay. There's a ton of things we haven't even touched. <laughs> yeah. So then you can just change your color of your shirt and you can change it all the way down to, you know, your shadows, your highlights to make it exactly the way you want it to look. So you can color pick as well if you wanted to, you know, pick a color from something else. So, okay, let, let's go back to the beginning on this one because that, to me, seems like a, <laughs> no, that it seems like something that could be a, a great tool for somebody. So we can create yeah. color changing mockups in this yeah. with elements that are already in, um, that are already in Canva. You don't have to bring anything in from anywhere else. It's already in there. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're showing me? I think so. Okay. I'm not sure I really get what you're asking me. Well, because like, uh, so like this, we, you know, for a color changing one, like when I do it in Corel, I got to go through, create the color changing mock-up. I've got to add layers in this. But this one, you can just grab the basic white shirt. So if we pick any, we can pick anything. So if you got the photo, uh, because right there with the with the little crown on it, you're in the pro version, so you're able to have mm -hmm. that. So if we took the that yellow shirt right there, would it work with the yellow shirt? Or does it, got it only got to be the white shirts? Or... It can pretty much be any of them. Okay, I so we got the yellow one. So one. show me. So we must start with the yellow one. Make this okay. yellow shirt red. Make it red. Here we go. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to my edit photo. And then on my effects, we're going to go to the duo tone. I can click a button and it's already red. Look at that. <laughs> so color changing mockups. Yes. You know, that was something that yeah. until two minutes ago, no clue that Canva could do. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So right there, you know, is Canva worth 15 bucks a month? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, just on something as simple as that, it, it, easy enough to show it. I mean, you get it all the time where someone, you, let's say I listed this, you know, caution contains facts and opinions that may find, some may find offensive on my website on a cream colored hoodie. And then I'm going to get the phone call. Hey, I really like that hoodie, but I want it on dark heather gray well the black Ooh. is so great show me it. show me show me because now well, this, this one <laughs> that's what i was going to say let's go let's see how this, this is one. this is where the duo tone comes in handy with you know okay not that one <laughs> yes duo tone. 
No, because we got to select them. Them. We got to, what do you got? Are we able to change her hoodie color? No. Well, I sure, probably. Sure. I don't but know. It'll change the whole color of her completely. Will it change the whole color of her? Okay. So if we adjust the hoodie image, yes. Okay. Will. Um, but if I wanted to change the color of the print, that is wonderful. And so easy. do you have any other tabs open? Like, I, I just want to see this in real time with something that would really happen. Could you go and from SNS or Sanmar? Whoever pull a hoodie and do the, you know without the person because if the do tone changes all of them and just so and show us how easy it is to to do that is that something you could do real quick because I know you said you could just copy and paste it in there you're yeah. the one who said it not me you're the one who said hey it's it really is. simple just to it copy is. and paste it's a true story <laughs> so I'll so. take the same hoodie it the strings are different so the strings aren't going to work Todd um, we're just changing colors we're not worried about strings because you can. Because with the with the strings, that was so hold up. Okay, the strings are different on it. But if we were to then make the strings the same way that we made this one, then those both would be able to change colors, right? The background right. of the shirt and the hoodie. Okay. Yes. So start us off. We're duplicating the page, right? Or that's what I just am just because it's it's just easy that I'm yep. gonna have to read all that fun stuff. Get rid mm -hmm. of that too. All right, so here's my paste because I grabbed the same hoodie. Okay, yep, so we're starting here. Same hoodie from scratch. Here we go. All right, so I like to make it bigger, and then I'll make it even bigger so that Todd's eyes can see it. Woo! <laughs> and then we're going to remove the background just because it makes it look that much better. And that in itself, just remove the you know remove background. Another reason yeah, one why button done. You know, for for Canva. Now it's I, now from what I find, it's not absolutely perfect every time, but there's nothing that really is without you manually going and do stuff. For what this is and what you're going to do with it, it is pretty robust. Wonderful. So, I found we got the really background really removed. We've got hair, this on here. Hair what causing are, problems. <laughs> what I'm causing problems. Hair. Causing problems. No hair. Hair. Oh, hair. Hair on a model would cause a problem. Yes. Yes. With the yes. <laughs> You're always so, causing problems. <laughs> We've got this here, and now we're going to change the color of it, right? Yes. That, yes okay. Yes. So, so we're going to edit our photo. We're going to go back down to our effects and find our duo tone again. It is looking like it's going to try to change the whole thing, but because we have a transparent background, I'll just click the green so you can see it's not going to be that way. Gee, gee. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty legit. Now, let me... Okay, and I don't know if this works in Canvas, so I'm going to see if you can do it. If you pull that... If you go back to your color um, your color selection, where you click on it, you can drag, drag... Well, we know the, the color palette, where you could, you know, move this... Move the... Oh, okay. Thingamajigger dude around. This guy? I don't know. Click on, if you click on it, remember... Okay, for your color drop button that's right there you see mm -hmm. your little editor button mm -hmm. for that can you pick from a, another screen on your computer so can you pick from because like in corel i can either select from corel or i can use the other dropper and i can pull from another image that's outside of corel are you able to do that with this i'm so, trying and it does not look like i can Okay, that's 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 what I that's what it was one way to. I just didn't know, so we cannot do that, which is fine, you know, because I was thinking you could then really match what the the color is to it. But in a lot of this, you know, it you're you're gonna tell people because on my screen it could look this color, on this screen it could look that color, on Sarah's screen it could look a totally different color. We're just you know visually representing colors that are here for it. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's see. Uh, will this replay? Absolutely. If you head over to uh, fatdadlive.com, that's on our YouTube channel. You're able to go back and watch us at any time. Head over to fatdadcd.com. That gets you into all of our links, and you will be able to find it there as well. Now, what other comments did we have there? Diana said, uh, I like that it tells you basically what each button does. Or will do. Illustrate on Photoshop, you have to try and see what the tool. Yeah, that's why, you know, with Photoshop or with Photoshop, zero. Illustrator zero. I I don't I don't understand it because I've been a Corel kid now for 16 years. Corel, I legit feel like I probably only know about 
10, 15% of what Corel can do because I know what I can make it do for what I need it to do. There's so much more to it. I just don't use it. So I don't know how. Uh, and that's, I think that's the same with any program with this one. Yeah. Having that there is way, way nice. Um, now, Becky said, I like to add a shadow to my projects as well. It makes it pop just a little bit more. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> so is that something you know how to do and you can show? The shadow? Oh, yeah. I okay. usually do oh, it. She's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, All right. Here we go. How do we add a shadow to this? Okay. Let's add it to our original girl because I like this one. Okay. It can be any either, but uh, you just click the photo itself. So you have the photo selected. Mm -hmm. Edit photo. Mm -hmm. And there's a really nice button under effects called shadows. You're telling so me it's just one, drop. Drop. one button one drop. drop. Done. <laughs> it will uh, it will change your image slightly, so you might have to resize it sometimes. But it depends on how much you allow. You know the blur, the angle. You can change oh. all. What? Super easy. No way. You know what's really great? No, yeah. I don't. You're going to tell me. I'm gonna, I am. I'm going to show you something really fun that I learned. So I'm going to get rid of her, actually. Crazy. Okay. So we've got just the design that I imported. It's a PNG. It's transparent background. Just super mm -hmm. easy. If you go back to that same shadow button, but you do the glow, and you can change this color to white. And then you, mm, that's not the one I want. Size. And then I increase my intensity. Wow, this one's not so great. It's got too much show through on the design. Mm -hmm. There we go. So you kind of get the idea of making a sticker out of it. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. 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 I can see that. So there's a little bit of holes, but I can see that yeah. now. I was trying to get to where I was trying to figure out where you're getting to. And now it totally makes sense. Yeah. Totally, totally makes sense on that. We do a lot of stickers. I love having stickers in house. So I really need to figure out maybe I just need to do something in, in Corel Draw and make, make myself a hand to hold the stickers. Make yourself a hand to hold stickers. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Or uh, you can uh, you can use our link over at Creative Fabrica, which I'll post here. It's you can find yeah. it in all our links, and you can go to Creative Fabrica and you can find the hand over there to download. I bet them. they I'll have hands. Them. Yes, upload them, yeah. save them. There you go. Batdadcd.com. You'll find all of those links, including Creative Fabrica, where you can find things like that. In fact, I will go find one and I will post it in the group. There you so go. People, people, if you're looking for a hand, I will give you a hand. <laughs> um, Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, Diana said, when I went to school, they were big on Adobe. They were on it when I was there, but not super into it because I'll show my age here. Like my first screen printing, we were cutting the red film by hand with an X-Acto knife. So oh, we're using okay. overhead projectors and we were cutting all of it there. So um, yeah, I, I didn't have a whole lot of experience with that. And when I got into this, um, you know, Corel is what they said for the vector-based program is what you wanted. And I've been a Corel kid since then. Uh, then I said, uh, now I have to look at my Photoshop and Illustrator. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't know either one of them. And I have them. I have the bundle that I'm paying like 50 bucks a month for. And it's for a few customers for a few things that come in that way that just make it easier for me. But not good at all. Not good at all on it. All right. All right, what else do you got for us, Sarah? We're coming here to the end. Anything else you want to show us? Or sure. what? Okay, she said, sure. Let's She's got a it. bag full of tricks. There's more. <laughs> well, wait, there's more. There is. There is tons of more. I mean, how many mock ups do you make every day, all day, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's what we do. Um, <laughs> uploads. All right, so I uploaded a picture that I took of a patch we have. Okay. Just sitting on our table. That's a nice little patch. Cropped it nice and short. Found a hat at Sanmar that I think this would look good on. Okay. So this is just a copied image from Sanmar. This is a picture I took. I uploaded them both. Okay. All right. So I'm going to remove the background on both of them. And let's see. <laughs> Edit photo. Mm -hmm. Background remover. Let's do its thing. And you can pull this outside of the 
see how the box is outside of that it's still usable it's fine it doesn't matter how big you go with it okay uh, -oh. uh this one again we're gonna remove the background on that so just to be clear your background does not have to be solid white in order for no. this to be able to remove it it will do it will help out some yep it, okay. it can be anything really i mean i've literally taken a picture where you can see my feet in it and it's still cropped my feet out so <laughs> you're good with whatever your background is it's it's really great with what it does on that all right so because of the order i pulled them in it's got the patch behind the hat well, i want to put it on top of the hat and then size that to fit on the hat and now i have a mock-up that i wouldn't otherwise have so what more would you do with this? Like right now you have it here on this, on your blue background. Would you leave it here or what else would, like if you're going to make this back, you know, the, you got this because you're making this mock-up, right? What mm -hmm. more would you do mm -hmm. to this to create a finished mock-up that you're ready to use? If I'm sending it to a customer, I usually grab my logo in white. Uh, if I can find it in white, there we go. And I lay it over the top just to watermark everything. Bring the transparency down, but they're not going to be able to go take it now, and they'll be able to see what it should look like. So, so you can water as, things. Now, what if this something okay? Uh, you know, this is a a one thing that you're going to do, and we're going to have this for sale. You know, you're going to use that the same imagery. Or are you going to how are you going to how are you going to put your Sarah spin on this so it's ready to go to be posted on a website? Hey, well, let's make them bigger because I don't like the way it's centered in there. I got to zoom out, Pat. I don't know how you can see it. That. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Add a shadow, of course. It's a hat. It's not just floating there, right? Um, add a photo. Add our shadow. Sure, that, that works. Not bad. You can group these so they stay together. And how do you do that? You select them both and then oh, hit group? Yep. yep, I just had them both and shift select on both and then group. Okay. So now they're grouped, so when I move it, they'll, they'll move together. And then my brand usually goes on it because we brand everything. So somewhere, somewhere in there, we'll add the brand. <clears throat> and you can add all kinds of elements behind it, with it, in front of it. Um, it's not quite as intuitive as um, like photo room where it'll make it look like it's sitting on a, a table or whatever, but okay. you can definitely use this for so many other things. Let's see, what could we look for? Under graphics, let's look for, I don't know, dots. So see, it'll pull these in, whatever color is contrasting on your design. Okay. okay. And then you can change that color on the graphics or. So if we wanted to change this, because you would assume, you know, put this behind the hat, right? Is that what you're saying you're going to do? Yes. Yes. And if you wanted to, could you pull the yellow from their logo and use that for the dots? Is that how? Yes. Yes. Right. So I was going to show you that where. Awesome. You when you click this button, it'll give you photo colors in your. Okay, which, your button? which button do is that? Um, so I laid my graphic here and then I clicked the, the color, color button. button. Top. Okay, color button. Mm -hmm. So I click that and it gives me the colors that are already in the document. Very nice. So there's our dots that match the yellow in the patch. And then we go to our position and move it to the back. And just like that. Done. Look at that. Something different. Little extra. I mean, you're a little extra, so that totally makes sense. <laughs> Big <Thanks>, time. <Todd. laughs> I get it. I mean, I totally, I totally get it. All right. Uh, I know you have somewhere to be, right? You got somewhere, so we're not gonna run over tonight. Um, the quick question, I don't know if it's a quick question, if you're able to answer it or not before we get you out of here, uh, or if we should save it to another show and we can make a show all about that, but uh, Angela says, uh, how do you print stickers from Canva? Is this a, is that a whole show that you can show us or is that a quick answer? I don't print stickers from Canva. I do mock -ups. 
of stickers in Canva. So there, mock-ups of stickers yeah. from Canva, because I think you'd you'd still have to export it as the PNG, and with the PNG, like in mice in Corel, I would add the outline to it, and then I'd be good to go with it. So I think that's how it would work for the most part there. But all right, I'm gonna remove this from here, so it's just back to you and I, Sarah. And where we go, maybe it'll just there. Okay, there we go, Sarah. Do you have any other? Words of wisdom for us on Canva. What do you, any? Take? Words of wisdom, sign up for pro. <laughs> there it is. Words yeah. of wisdom, sign up for pro. I, I, I'm right there with you. Sign up for pro on it. Um, well, so what do you think? Can we get you back here next month? And we can, we'll figure out, uh, I think branding, you know, we can talk that. Or if there's something that you would rather talk about, let us know. But so Brand far, I think like we're two for two on some, uh, some good Canva training, and you are becoming better and better at this each time you do it. So I, I yeah. really do appreciate <laughs> you coming to do this because you know I know I know nothing about Canva, so I learned I learned a lot tonight. I didn't. So realize you don't know that. nothing about Canva. You know yeah. this. I know this now. Uh, I did not know that you could do the color change mockups. That to me was mind blowing. That's why I was like, wait a minute, go back. Did that just see what I see? And I had to make you do it again because of how that was. So I was super excited about that. So yeah. I know you have places to go, people to see, things to do. So I will kick you out of here. Thank you for, for coming on here again. Now, once again, Sarah, where can people find you at? Distinctive Merch Co. At Distinctive Merch Co. with a K. At everything. <laughs> Love it, love it, love it. All right, Sarah, I'm kicking you out of here. So if, right. you, if you decide to leave while you're in the green room, you go for it. If you want to wait around, you can. I don't know how. All right. Is, but, all right. <laughs> oh my God, I should have, <coughs> I should have not did that before I left because that, <coughs> that made me crazy. What do you guys think? How was that? Like those are things that I want to do more of this year. You know, where we're going to bring more people in that have way more understanding of how things work than I do as we go through things that I learn. Of course, I would share those, but if it's someone like Sarah who uses Canva on the daily seems way more uh, informed than me. So I really do appreciate that she took time out of her busy schedule to come in here and show this. So, you know, show her love, go there, check her out, make sure to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all of those things, give her a big hell yeah, all of that fun stuff. Now, let me get to my comments, see what else we have here for it. Uh, she is calling me out and that's what I expect. I expect everybody to call me out all the time i don't see any reason not to because that's how we get better right uh don go back and watch the beginning uh because i showed you an easy way to do the strings in corel so if you go back if you missed the beginning of this go back to it because i showed how to do the strings in corel and it was super simple super easy so go back and watch that diana you have a good night uh, definitely plan on use, utilizing it, as you should. We all should do it. Now, uh, moving forward, like I said, uh, there is no Tuesday with Todd next Tuesday. Uh, we have a funeral to attend, so we will not be here. So no Tuesday with Todd next Tuesday. Uh, and then the, the following Tuesday, I think we have something scheduled. I'll get through that there. The rest of this week, uh, Morning Mindset. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which tomorrow morning is Wednesday, so be here for that. Uh, we will have another bundle drop later this week. Uh, the private group will be starting February 1st, $20 a month. It is going to start on Patreon, but it might, uh, it's going to be between Patreon and Discord. There is a way to pay, process payments through Discord, so it all may be there, but for starting, it is going to come off on uh, Patreon. The other thing that starting there, that, that first of the month, there is a program on making um, coloring books, and so passive income with coloring books and Amazon's KDP. So I'm going through that process now, and I will 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 share it along. And anybody that wants to try it, you know, we'll put all the information in there. So the private group, what is you going to get with that? You ask. Well, I will tell you. Uh, any of our marketing stuff, any of our our venting. I know we all want a place to vent so we can talk about that there and not have to worry about it being in a public setting. Uh, anything to do with business, we're going to lay off the business content, especially on the pricing side of it, because I got my ass handed to me by a few people talking numbers. So we're not going to do that. Um, any files that we create, we're going to put in there. So overall, you know, we're going to be there to help everybody grow their business. And that's what we're going to do with that. And that is coming February 1st. So we'll keep plugging away to push that on there. I don't know either of those. Uh, do I find it under YouTube? Yeah, find all of our you can find all of our info at fatdadcd.com. That will get you to all of our links, all of our um, 
all of our stuff. Uh, tomorrow morning on Morning Mindset, we will talk about how I did this with the X tool, what I found, what I thought of it, what I learned. And that was one of our goals for January. So I was super excited to be able to get that done. Remember, you can find us all down there at fatdadcd.com. Uh, any questions, other comments, concerns? Uh, my goal was to be in the private group. Awesome. We will have that listed. It will be there, like I said, February 1st, 20 bucks a month. We're going to do um, one of the big things that talking with a few other people that they were really excited about was having the, the co-op work hours. And I know Wednesdays for sure, we're going to do it right after Morning Mindset. We're going to talk more in depth. So like here, Tuesday with Todd's over, we could go there and chat another, you know, half hour, you know, amongst each other. Uh, morning Mindset, do that same thing, but have that co-op work hours. Well, hey, here's my goals because Morning Mindset, we set up our goals. Here's our five things we're going to accomplish for the day. We can go in there. Hey, for the next hour, I'm going to work on marketing. I'm going to work on mock-ups. I'm going to work on this. We're going to hold each other accountable. We're going to be there for it. Uh, I've done this with Sarah. I've done this with Pilar. I've done this with Renee. Uh, I've done this with uh, a lot of people where we've just had an open room and just, you know, chatted back and forth. Hey, can you look at this real quick? And, you know, so that's things like that. You know, we're really, really want to see everybody's business grow exponentially this year. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, Discord. Yes. So it'll be Patreon will there. And then we'll have the links to Discord and we'll be able to use that. And we'll be able to find all of that in there for information. And hopefully um, we are. Um, yes, yes, yes. Sarah, just about time. Good thing she didn't go anywhere. Uh, Sarah just sent me a message on her link tree. So if you want to find Sarah, go right here and um, I think if it's just the link tree distinctive merch co, I don't think you need all the other part on it. I think we can get away with just that distinctive merch co on it. But if not, I'm going to show Sarah, tell Sarah that she just needs to buy a domain and just have it go that way. And so that way it's just distinctive merch co links.com. It will, where she'll find everything. That's why I have fat dad CD where it takes it everything there. All right. Uh, yeah. And Joe, that'll be anytime. Anytime it'll, you know, we'll we'll talk about it all the time. Uh, my goal is to have, you know, 50 people in it by the end of the year. 50 people that want to take their business serious. 50 people that want to advance their stuff. Any of the training that I've taken over the years that I have access to that I'm able to share, I'm going to put that in there. Anything that has to do with AI classes that we're taking, because right now I'm in a monthly, I'm in three different monthly AI uh, memberships. So learning information from there. Uh, I have years of marketing ones. I have years of things that might not be relevant anymore for full scale things, but a lot of information in it. And I'm just going to do, you know, info dump on things that we can help each other with. And hopefully you're able to join us and do that as well. So you guys have an amazing night. We will be back, like I said, tomorrow morning, morning mindset. We're going to get in here. We're going to do it. We're going to have loads and loads of fun. And then we're just going to, we're going to keep on the rest of the week. So peace, love, press on. We will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.